images always excited me. I, I, I started to take still photography when I was very young, maybe 14, 15 years old, with my father's little Kodak camera, and I always liked to take the pictures, you know. And, and then and, and, uh, what happened basically that I got a book in, into my hand by Eugene Dulovich, which uh, the title was The Art of Photography. And I fell in love with photography. And in, in the first line in his book was, I am a lover of lights. And that's, I always, it stuck into my mind. Light, what is lighting? What lighting is about? And I realized that, you know, all good, great still photography is made with lights. And then, uh, then later on, I got, I got lucky to go to a film school for four years. And I always remembered that one line, that light is the most important thing, you know, and then, and then that's how I, I basically advanced, actually, from one year to the other year, with, with my studies, you know, with, with my short subjects, what I, I shot in, in the film school, that for me, always the lighting was the most important thing. And, and we had some great cinematographers in Budapest, like, uh, Ivan Istvan, who, who did some incredible black and white photography, but with lighting which resembled you know, like some Renaissance painters, you know, with sfumato, you know, with, with the shadow details. And, and that was incredible. I studied those people, and, and, and I was so lucky that I, I could learn from four, and four or five great cinematographers in Budapest who lived there in those days. And then, of course, you know, comes the revolution in 1956. I already finished film school. A year later, I uh, emigrated, you know, to the United States. Well, it took me 10 years to get back where I used to be, because I had to learn English, I had to learn the new method of uh, lighting and cinematography, which, you know, in Europe we did different things. But I was lucky also that it was the days, you know, in the early 60s and 70s when America started to see a lot of European movies and loved, you know, Fellini. They loved actually the, the neorealism by the Italians, the Nouvelle Vague by the French. And then those, those new directors, you know, just came up from nowhere, you know, like Robert Altman and... Uh, John Borman and um, Brian De Palma, Steven Spielberg. I, I, I was watching those movies and, and suddenly they started to call me and wanted to uh, want to find out about us, about Laszlo Kovács and myself, that we were doing different kind of movies, you know, like what we learned in Europe and, and trying to make the American movies like, look like that or better. And that's how we started actually getting involved with the, the, the new real novel vibe make, makers in, in, in Hollywood. And then suddenly I was doing Peter Fonda's movie, The Hired Hand, and Robert Altman's McCabe and Mrs. Miller, and then came Deliverance, and then came more movies with Altman, The Long Goodbye, and uh, Brian De Palma's obsession, and uh, suddenly I, I was in the main, mainstream, you know, with, uh, with, with a couple of pictures behind me, which were acclaimed in Europe and not acclaimed in, in America yet, you know, because I got nominated for three pictures in a year in London, for example, you know, uh, for, the, for the British Academy Award. And out of the four nominated films, three of, three of the movies were mine. McCabe and Mrs. Miller, The Long Goodbye, and Deliverance. And that was interesting that, that in America nobody knew me, but in Europe they already were writing about me. And then that was very encouraging for me, you know, and I just kept doing, we, we just kept doing with Laszlo, you know, whatever we were doing, we, we thought it was right. And you know, our, our career was started going up and up and up and up until we started to make the big movies. 
And the book me, big movies were basically Deer Hunter, Close Encounters of a Third Kind, The River, and, and then you, you name it. You know, I, I was so lucky. I was working with, with the best independent filmmakers of those days. And, uh, and that's uh, where I basically ended up, you know, to making important movies. And I could have a choice always, you know, what movies I would make, which, which director, which subject matter. And uh, I always had the freedom, you know, to express, you know, my feelings about lighting and images and all that. And then, and I just love to be in a position where I can contribute to filmmakers, you know, to make great movies.